boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine, the boy is mine. Excuse me, can I please talk to you for a minute? Uh-huh. Sure, you know. You look kind of familiar. Yeah, you do too. But um, I just wanted to know, do you know somebody named... You, you know his name. Oh yeah, definitely. I know his name. But I just want to let you know that he's mine. <laughs> no, no. He's mine.
certainly made it very clear. There are two of them, and they sound good together. Mm. Uh, Brenda and Monica. They uh, uh, listening to this. This also, you know, had shades of Christina Aguilera's Jeannie uh, Inabal. Yes. Did you get that? Yeah. A little bit. Little bit there is yeah. something. There is something Many about songs the song. Which are very similar. There is something about the song. You know, always keeps making you think about that song at of the course, same time. The intellect of the songwriters is definitely. I know. I know. Uh, under the scanner here as always is with this genre yeah where they're just uh, just can't write beyond four or five lines you know it's, so they have to repeat themselves in different ways by the way there are many the many way. many yeah but Sorry. so uh, <laughs> it's quite repetitive and that uh, definitely makes it quite uh, boring for me as a listener mm. i seek value in music you know it's not just about Oh, it uh, sounds good for a minute, so it's I I love it. That's true. It should be valuable, you know. You invest so much money and time in the listening to artists such as these, and uh, with our busy schedule, you know, both of us, it's uh, I know uh, it better be worth it. It better be worth it. Even sitting down here and listening to music, it should be worth our time, you know, to listen to music. And when we hear songs which are as repetitive, uh, repetitive as this, you know, I definitely think of. Uh, uh you know my counseling sessions uh, you know just to give an example uh there are so many people who come with similar issues you know where they are uh, over possessive where they, they where they are jealous they don't want to share their partner with someone else so yeah i get uh, get a song like this you know that uh, he's kind of my property like a house or something you know like a horse like a dog a house uh, he's my property and you dare dare not touch him dare not get close to him Give him up, you know. The boy is mine. It's like you know, the house is mine, the bag is mine, the car is mine. So the boy here is treated like a property. So I I get it very often in counseling sessions, you know, at times, and uh, even in counseling sessions when I hear so many clients coming with the same cases. Now I've been doing it for more than twenty five years, so it's a lot of experience. So it's not just based on one issue or two clients that I'm talking about. I'm talking about hundreds and thousands. So when the similar issues crop up definitely i need to take a break so hobbies are very important for both of us kirti also is in the same profession she has a pretty very busy schedule maybe more busy than mine so you know the same issue does crop up even for kirti at times if we discuss each other's clients uh, sometimes we do very rare occasions but otherwise just we do you know yeah, just to to get advice, to get advice, and to also help each other, you know, yeah. and counseling others better. Yeah. So, she also gets similar issues. So it's a we need to take a break because when we hear songs like that and issues like that again and again and again, it's a, we need to take a break. So we are uh, for me, meditation is one of the foremost activities. I mean, not just for taking a break from work or taking a break from uh, reacting, listening to music like this. but from life itself you know you just want to take a break from your routine from life meditation is something i do um, over i mean it's been like 15 20 years now so it's it's a long time so yeah definitely meditation has helped me a lot and definitely has been help me be very successful you know people uh, often ask how come i'm so successful when i'm involved in so many fields 15 plus fields 15 plus businesses you can call it because i'm not working for anyone i'm doing it for myself so you know maybe kirti can shed light on it some other time or today if there's time um yeah but what are your thoughts on this kirti so definitely when you are so busy when you hear a song like this it's definitely not value for our time spent listening to it i i'll start with what i liked and then you know coming to whether uh, you know it actually deserves um, someone who's intellectual someone who's actually looking for some meaning you know uh, through music is it uh, worth you know paying for it or is it worth even spending your or investing your time in it because time is money and time is also uh, limited in, in everyone's life uh, we both are yeah, we you all... know involved in so many activities so many things and not just on a surface level we always you know take the time to dig deeper into whether it was this these reactions we are not on a surface level we have never been on the surface level it has been very personal we have been completely involved in it and uh, only the time invested in it 
proves what I'm saying. So nothing that we do in our lives, any hobby, any activity, any uh, sphere of life or any subject that we take, we are never on the surface level. It always has to go deeper and it has to run deeper. Uh, otherwise, we both do not find it interesting enough. We both just can't pursue something that where we cannot get involved completely. And thus, you know, these reactions. So uh, coming to uh, the boys mind, I I like the voices. I definitely like the way they collaborated. It started with, I, I, I don't know who was who. Uh, so whether it was Brenda or whether it was Monica, one of them had a, a man-like voice also to begin with, like as if, uh, you know, a man was responding initially and then there were two, you know, women uh, interacting with each other. It was kind of a, uh, a banter kind of a thing uh, going on. Uh, it was um, okay. Have we heard enough music to say that? Definitely yes. So those who come to listen to these reactions, if they have only managed to go through our channel or they have been here for a while, they will realize what all we have already been exposed to, what all we have been only uh, already listening to, what are the things that we actually like, what are the things that we do not like so much. So those who are regulars over here, they understand our taste. And it's not just about taste. It's also about justifying what we speak. And if we cannot justify something that we speak, then there's no point in you know making reactions or giving our opinion about it, giving our uh, honest to thoughts about it so we need to justify what we say i can just go ahead and say oh i loved it and you know it was an, um, the best song that i've heard can i justify that and especially with the track, track record that we have had uh, for a long time now it, it's a substantial amount of our lifetime also put together both of us 10 years of our life you know uh, put into reactions five years mine five years two different people yeah it's you know? like it shouldn't yeah. be a waste of time yeah, it should waste be. of our time so it's as simple as that um <laughs> yes we are here because we love music we love seriously music, it's, 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 and that's what if it was money us. if it was money the amount we earn for listening to music such as this wouldn't even pay any of our bills no. we live in a very expensive city in fact one of the things that i see around here is so many americans are settling down close to us yeah um uh, what nobody watching this reaction video might know all the people who seem to know so much about music in america and England also, and sometimes Canada. They seem to know so much about music, but none of them will know that the person whose music has been heard the most on YouTube since YouTube started the year 2006, 2007, till 2023, the one whose music has been heard close to a trillion times. It's not Taylor Swift, it's not Kanye West, it's not any of those crappy artists out there in America. It's someone who lives very close to us. And his name, I don't know if you heard, if you know music, you may have heard it. But I'm sure you've heard his music if you've been on YouTube long enough. And his name is Akash Gandhi. Gandhi, I, I thought so. so. I thought you were getting the it. The most heard musician in the world, maybe not just on YouTube, but even other platforms is Akash Gandhi. Yeah. But nobody knows you that. You don't realize that. Nobody so knows subtle. that. So for us also, as reactors, if you look by our subscribers, if you look by our likes... If you look by the number of comments on our videos, even the most watched ones, you won't have an idea how much we have contributed to the music industry in the last Already, five years. Yes. I mean, our contribution is immense. That's why people are literally paying us even to watch videos now. Just to watch videos. Uh, we have to turn yes, down yes, so many requests because we don't, so have, requests that because that we don't have time. And neither, how do you manage Neither time? can we tell our relatives or friends or our, uh, kids to do all that we work. We, we can't right? ruin their personality by giving them such shallow work to do. You know, so, uh, you know, it's funny that people who claim to know music don't even know who is the most heard musician in the world. And someone who lives very close to us, by the way, in Mumbai. So, yeah, I mean, it's funny. It's funny. It's really funny. Close to a trillion views on his music. Uh, overall, his music is used from cookery videos to painting videos Almost to anything. interior decoration videos to anything videos. under the sun. I mean, Taylor Swift can learn a lot from guys like him. Kanye West, all those losers out there in the US uh, can all. And uh, of course, Akash Gandhi is also American. You know, He's an Indian but and American. quality speaks. That's what. But the fact is, I'm not talking about nationality. I'm talking about the fact that how much you know about music. You know, and how much you know about reactions. So when you give us a request in the future, you know, this request is by a person called Kimi Poo's Collections. You know, you need to realize who you're giving it to at the end of the day. You're giving it to someone who's reacted to more music than anyone else on earth. So you have need to have a little bit of respect and give something worthwhile their time. That's it for this one.